welcome back to my channel i am shadia if you and you haven't been here just came across this video accidentally please take a deep breath and subscribe like and comment if you old have been here for a couple of videos but never consider subscribing why why are you cheating the both of us just subscribe please and hit the notification button to know when i upload i upload actually twice a week so you don't want to miss any of my uploads anyways uh today i am back with another episode um talking about women wellness or just people wellness in my country <laughs> yeah i don't know how to term it but you know talking about things that are going on in my country that are actually affecting humanity yeah <laughs> i think that is it so today i'm just going to be you know talking or having a conversation on why single motherhood is epidemic in my country oh if you don't know i'm from uganda i live in uganda i've been in uganda my entire life so people single motherhood in my country is epidemic is rampant 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 and it is so hard it's so hard yeah single mothers are surviving they are struggling and trying to bring up their kids but i feel like it's not the easiest thing to do it is if you agree with me let me know what you think in the comment section below and i feel like no one wants to be a single mother apart from those who are single mothers by choice but for other people it is hard to raise your child on your own and yeah without further ado i am going to be just giving you reasons why i think single motherhood is on our hype and my number one reason is low self-esteem in women now i don't know over the years um an achievement was having a degree having an education and then after like people would celebrate you if you had a degree if you had a diploma if you just went to school and finalized right now all that doesn't make sense there is a stigma that you are a woman enough only if you have a husband right beside you only if you are cohabiting only only if you have a man in your life it is a good thing to have a man but i feel like it is not a good thing doing it on other people's face. So what happens is when you get out of school because you want to fulfill this so much, it is a narrative like that has gotten into people's heads. You want to be someone, you want to show people that you are someone. Uh, girls or women end up having to live with men or end up having to compromise for these men. And the moment you are with a man in any setting, end result is getting pregnant now most of the people you know at school the people you get pregnant with are like boys you've been at school with you know boys you finished for university with and let's face it they are not financially mature enough they are starting up their lives it is hard for them to you know build up a family it takes a strong one a strong boy to actually acknowledge the fact that I'm, i want to stay with my baby mama marry her and other kid so what happens is the both of you get to a point where you can stand each other probably financially emotionally or spiritually and then you already have a kid you end up breaking up and this leaves most of the times this leaves the girls raising their child on their own and i want to tell you all it is not a crime to finish school and not have a man. There are other things, attributes to life than being someone's baby mama or being someone's wife. But if it comes your way, it is okay to be a, a wife. You know, it is paramount. But I want you to do it on your purse. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to be raising your child alone. It is hard. People, raising a child alone is hard. I don't have kids of my own, but I have friends. I have family that have kids and they're raising them on their own. And I'm telling you guys, it is not easy. Number two, I feel like there is no much distribution of knowledge about contraceptives, you know, among the youth. Now, growing up in my years, uh, when people came to our schools, they were talking about, oh, abstaining, abstaining, like abstaining was a thing. Like during my years, being sexually active was not a thing like it was an abomination 
a very huge abomination like we didn't even know things about sex and stuff but now people are exposed like girls are exposed exposed the kids are exposed and they are indulging into sexual activities when they are young the you know the preachings of abstain abstain is not working no more these people are indulging in sex so the only way if we want to put the rampant growth of single motherhood on hold is by preaching to them that after you've had sex because now having sex is inevitable like these kids are having sex like let's face it these kids are and i'm sorry about my language but kids these days are sexually active very very active and we should not start preaching to them that they are ways to avoid pregnancy because single motherhood come from pregnancies right so i think we should educate them about the contraceptives like you can avoid getting pregnant by using condoms or you know using contraceptives we should sensitize people we should go in schools and tell people about contra contraceptives and how they work and how they are used telling people to abstain is not working no more no one is listening to that like yes you are going to tell them not to you know indulge in sexual activities and when they go back home on their tvs it is what they are saying in the news it is what they're saying literally the world is preaching sexual activities to these children so it is inevitable i think the only way we can stop the rampant growth of pregnancies because single motherhood comes from pregnancies is by preaching more about contraceptive guys yeah because at the end of the day they are trying out things they see on tv they don't know the repercussions yeah and when they get pregnant the boy isn't willing to marry these girls these girls ain't even ready to you know what they ain't even ready to be mothers you know and it's not happening only in uh, you know children and kids and teens there are also women out there old women who have no clue about contraceptives i'm telling you so the sensitizing of everyone about contraceptives should know no boundaries and that way the rights of single motherhood will be on hold like if you're cutting down the number on which people are getting pregnant you're cutting down on the rise of single mother the other thing why i feel like single motherhood is on a rise are the hookups yo uh, back in the day it was hard for someone to just give in to you know night one night sons was so rare um it was actually so rare for people to just have hookups right now it is no big deal i can sleep with you and it's no big deal i can sleep with him it's no big deal i can sleep. like it is no big deal actually people are finding so much pride in talking about the number of people they have sexually been with it baffles me but to each his own so the hookups are so much people do not actually care and let me tell you not everyone you hook up with can father your child they can actually father your child but not all of them can be there as fathers for your child so people and we are old i mean the moment you don't care it is okay actually to not care about who you hook up with but if you are hooking up with people can you please use protection or unleash contraceptives because no child no child wants to come into this world as a result of a hookup like we were just having fun we were just going with the flow and then we were who is my dad or oh, your dad we were just leaving it up you know it's your love no no child wants to live up to that kind of truth like yo that is how you were brought about in the world it doesn't actually make sense like it is okay have your own fun live enjoy but do not think of bringing a child into a situation like this it it bothers me all don't and then uh the moment i don't know what's wrong with us women these days i think it's about the loss of esteem and the fact that we want so much in the world and we're not willing to put in the energy so what happens is when you hook up with someone you're like yes i'm keeping this baby for child support yes he gotta give me child support like come on your baby is not a money machine you are exploiting these babies like i want money for her i want that he he gonna be my you find someone having like five baby fathers and she okay with it because well she gets to satisfy her needs 
Like women, come on, we are bigger than that. Very, very bigger than that. The other thing, I feel like the idea of having kids when you are young, and I remember talking, it, talking about it in my other video, having kids while you are young is the best thing you, ever, you can ever do for yourself and your child. Let me tell you guys, I know, I know our generation is so much about how you look, your body image, because apparently having kids while you are young gives you so much space to have your shape, your body shape back in shape real easy. So people think it is a trend, like having a child while you're young, it is beautiful, it is beautiful. Yeah, it is very beautiful, it is beautiful. But you know what else is beautiful? is having your child with his or her father around being financially stable like i don't know bringing your child into a family you know not into a situation i swear that is like the more beautiful thing the more yes you are going to have your child while you are young you know why your body can go back and share real quick but how is the child going to feel growing up without a father without father because you were so much wanting to get pregnant at a certain age that you gave yourself to anyone who told you you were beautiful without you know not establishing some how do i call it without without being organized or something i don't know whether it makes sense guys it is not cool yes you want your body to go back into the shape but your kid guys your kid because most of the times the people, it takes a while to know who is willing to father your children. Yeah, and you can do that in a week or two. You know what I mean? There, there needs to be some things established. So I feel like our esteem people and the education, all the things that are being preached to us are, are making us silly in them. And lastly, lastly is women want to tie men down so bad so bad that it hits them when you get pregnant a man will make it official with you i see yeah people because apparently like i said in my other videos like the kuchala thing is so very trendy and the only way to get a man kuchala to your place is by being pregnant boom tell him you're pregnant boom He's gonna come to your home let me tell you guys yes you want to make your family proud you want to be that daughter everyone wants to be that daughter but are you thinking of the person you're bringing in this world because let's face it uh as a man he'll be like yeah sure you're pregnant let me go to your place let me visit your family yeah and after a while months two months because you were not ready to live with each other to to grow with each other to love each other it was a baby for commitment there was no commitment before the baby i mean the both of you are not having peace the both of you are not happy what happens is you break up because no one wants to stay in a place that doesn't make them feel whole good and valuable the both of you just decide to and um, for the most part people break up in the worst worst ways leaving this child into all those uh, you know custody wars into all those financial wars it is not a good thing and i would like to advise all my young women there out there that if you want to have a baby let there be some commitment before the baby comes in the picture because that is all good a man is committing to you without you pushing him yeah not you having a baby without commitment for a man this feels like you are forcing the union i it's pretty much forcing the union and you are using your baby as a mate at the end of the day you're gonna end up raising your baby alone no a baby cannot you know pin down a man nothing can actually pin down a man he will be pinned down only if he wants to be pin down and yes guys that those are actually the reasons why i feel like single motherhood is on a rise right now and i feel for the single mothers and i applaud single mothers because yo in my country they are doing the most like i'm so proud of y'all 
I'm so proud of y'all. And I'm not saying babies are not cute. Yo, babies are fabulous. Babe, they're fabulous is an understatement. Like, babies are awesome. Babies change the world. Babies are great. But for some reasons, everyone needs to bring a baby in the world where it is comfortable. Yeah? So, yeah. I mean, if you can avoid being a single mother, please do. And if you're a single mother out there, continue being your fabulous self like the world is proud of you and yeah that was it today if there is anything you want to add on to this video comment down below uh let me know what you think like subscribe if you haven't subscribed and yeah tell any single mother you know out there that she is doing a wonderful job i love you guys have yourselves a nice life